So guys, one of the things you can do when a machine is up and running already to, to get it to reboot is just press uh, Alt, Control, and Delete. And that'll cause the machine to reboot. I just did that. As you can see, the black screen is coming up again here. So it's going to gonna give us an option to go into the BIOS. Whoops, I wasn't fast enough. I think it's hit the Delete key to go into the BIOS. Yeah, press Delete. Set at the bottom of the screen. I want it to be as quick as possible because it doesn't give you a lot of time there. So this is the bias. This is the graphical bias. A lot of them aren't this uh, this graphical. So if you look down here, you'll see at the bottom uh, boot priorities. And uh, here you get to select either you want to boot off of a hard drive. Right now I've got. I do believe that this is yeah. This is looking at the hard drive right here. See my mouse. This guy right here. This is the hard drive. This is the Windows 10, so it's still looking for the to, to boot off of. Uh, I think the uh, the hard drive. I'm going to switch these over now. It's now it's going to go to the USB device first because I put that first on the list, and then it'll go to the hard drive next. So if I uh, if I save now or restart the machine, it should boot off that uh, USB device. So that's what we're going to try right now. So um, here we have shortcut F3, Advanced F7, Boot Menu F8. I can also click. F8. This will give me a little menu here to tell me what my uh, boot options are. Uh, right now it's uh, P2, KDI, and UEFI. I'm not even sure what that means. But this one down here says the uh, it's the Windows. I uh, okay. I clicked on that. That actually took me into the Windows setup. That's not what I wanted. So I'll escape to cancel, like it says in the bottom right hand corner. It says escape. I'll escape that. Go back to the boot to the bias. I hope maybe not. Uh, maybe it's going to give me an option to, uh, yeah, so it's going to go out reboot now since I said escape back into the BIOS. We'll see if it boots up on that device now. We'll leave it as is. Okay. Okay, so saying choose an operating system to start or press tab to select a tool. Um, so I, this might be an old, uh, I was going to say it might be an old uh, uh, boot sector that's on the, uh, the old hard drive, but the old hard drive is unplugged. So this must be coming off of the, uh, I'm assuming that this is coming off of the USB device. So I'm going to go uh, Windows Setup 64-bit. I don't think there's any such thing as a 32-bit on that USB device. But uh, So since it's loading files, let's see what this is. I, I'm hoping this is my USB because I don't have anything else in there that it would be picking up files from. Unless, I still have one in my, uh, no. I thought maybe my uh, CD-ROM would have a disk in it, but it doesn't. So this should be our Windows 10 coming up. Yeah, this is Windows 10. I can tell by the logo. So we'll let that do its thing. Okay, guys, got to pause there just for a second.